What up players, it's Warboss Stay Up In This Mud. Welcome to a All Quiet On The Martian Front tutorial. And today we're gonna be painting these little infantry guys. Now in the core box set, you get uh, enough to make six stands of these infantrymen, enough to make three stands of these rough riders on motorcycles, and enough to make three stands of these machine gunners. Now the poses are different, this one has motorcycles, these guys are a machine gun team, and these guys are just running forward, but basically the same color scheme kind of unifies all of them. And I decided to make a painting video on it. So thanks for watching, stay tuned if you want to see more videos. I'm gonna next be trying to do a tutorial on how to do one of these guys, the steam tanks. But um, great fun, really easy to paint. The 15 millimeter means that I don't use any washes and you don't even have to paint your guys up to the standard. Uh, I do two highlights for the uniform and that's it. Everything else is just base coats. So thanks for watching everybody, hope you're doing well, and we'll see you in the next video. Latest players! Alright, so let's get started painting up these infantrymen. The first thing I did, well, after gluing them onto the base and gluing all the flock or the sand on, was I spray primed it with Duplicolor Matte Gray Spray Primer. Now you can see that um, because of how small these guys are, even though I tried to spray from different angles, the spray primer didn't catch all of the metal, and that's okay um, as long as we got the the overall uh, larger areas spray painted. So, when we get started, the first color we're going to paint our models is Castellan Green. <laughs> if you want, uh, there are some companies out there that make great color primers as well. So after you paint your model in, or after you spray prime your model, then that might be an option to uh, spray it again with a different color primer. Uh, I decided to just do it all by hand though because it's pretty, it's pretty simple. And I'm only going to go one by one, or step by step rather, in instead of painting all five of them, as it's pretty much going to be the same technique over and over again. And this technique is good for the infantrymen, the doughboys as they're called, as well as the machine gun crew, these guys, as well as the rough riders, the boys on the motorcycles. Okay, you want to get their helmets and their uniform. And this is also when you get into all of the cracks and crevices it from all the different angles because we're going to try to paint these guys without using any washes. And because we're going to be doing layering, that means that you want to make sure you get into all the angles. Alright, so that's step one. We're going to wait for that to dry, and then when we come back, you're going to want to get your. Let's see if I can find it. You're going to want to get your Mornfang Brown ready. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. Mornfang Brown. Okay, now that we're done with the first step and we've let it dry for just a little while, we've got our Mornfang Brown. And we are going to paint a couple things. And uh, you might be able to use a larger brush for the first step, but for this step you want to start getting into using smaller brushes because we're getting into the detail here. So the first thing we're going to paint on our guy is his boots. Now overall for the most part what I did was try to copy the All Quiet on the Martian Front color scheme based off of what I was able to see on the back of the box set as well as what I saw on the, the mini rule book and uh, the trouble is that it didn't show very much of the back so I had to guess some of the colors on the backpack and whatnot and uh, basically I got some of it a little bit wrong but I kind of like the, the pattern that I or the color scheme that I ended up going with. Now for the back 
you've got two things you're going to paint, Morn Fang Brown, and that is the bottom of the packs, as well as the uh, main part of the, the backpack. You want to make sure you remember to get the encapsulated in green just about everything in this guy's backpack or, or on the guy's figure. So like the canteen in the back here. All right, so boots, backpack. Third part we're going to paint with Morn Fang Brown is the rifle, the stock, and the barrel. Man, I am really. Yeah, I'm not kidding, like, I'm really digging 15 millimeter. I think the smaller scale is just so much fun to paint. It's so fast. Okay, now we're going to let that dry. And while that's drying, I actually thought we could do a little bit more work. So I've got my Abaddon Black and my Steel Legion Drab here. First thing... If you're doing assembly uh, assembly line style, then you probably want to finish, do all the Mornfang Browns in once, and that, you know, that's totally fine. But I thought that we'll give our guys a little bit more to work with. First thing is Abaddon Black in the eye holes, and this is one that I would do all the way down just because uh, you want it to give a little bit of time to dry before before painting the gas masks, because we're about to paint the gas masks. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna need. It's gonna need a little bit of time to dry. You don't want to paint while it's still all wet, so we'll let those dry for a bit. But the other thing you're gonna paint with your Steel Legion Drab right now, we're using Steel Legion Drab, is the a strap to the rifle right here at the bottom. So we're gonna just tag that just like that, right on the bottom. And the last thing we're gonna go for is the naps, or the, uh, I guess we'll call it sleeping roll, the blanket. We're gonna go for a kind of like a rucksack kind of shade. We're gonna highlight it up in just a second, but for now, over the Castellan green, we're gonna paint Steel Legion Drab. And at this point, the gas mask, the eye lenses should be just about dry. I like black. Um, I think in the all quiet product pictures, some, some of them look like the eye, eye lenses are like a, a blue, sort of like reflected, like glass reflecting. But I kind of like the black. black is very kind of soulless looking, and that's what I like. Okay, so you could at any time stop and do the rest of your guys if you're doing assembly line style. I would probably do all my Mornfang Browns and then all the all the Steel Legion Drabs, like the little rucksack thing here in the back. I mean the sleeping roll blanket, and then all the gas masks. Then, the last thing you want at this point is oh, let's see if I can find it. I'll be right back. All right, here we go. Xandri Dust is the next color, and this is the one that's going to be painted on a couple of different places. So let's get started. First one and most obvious are on the hands. This is also a good place to test your consistency of your paint. If you're using a wet palette, you want to make sure that it's not too thick and it's not too watery. Looks like my rice was a little bit bent. Boop.
Okay, and then once the gloves are done, I'm going to go in and get the front pack as well as the straps down each side of the head and the top of the pack right here. And the strap that goes up this side and over the shoulder. You can see that. So we've got our pack over the shoulders. Then we're going to go and hit the packs and the pouches on this belt. Remember both sides, so you want to make sure you hit both sides there. Boom. Hey. The next step is that uh, we're going to get Lead Belcher and Mechanicus Standard Gray. We're going to start with Mechanicus Standard Gray, and all you're doing with this is painting up the straps that are holding the blanket and the other pieces of equipment to his backpack. So right here there's like little tie straps. At the sides. And there's also, uh, right down the, the bottom of the pack itself, you've got here at the bottom holding, not even sure what, what this is, holding this part of the backpack together, and then holding this part of this, kind of look like stowage. Not sure what they are. And there's one vertical strap leading from the upper part of the backpack to this lower part. So I'm not sure if we could focus on that, but there are the pieces that you're going to be painting in Mechanicus Standard Gray. And here's what the front should look like after you've got your Zandri dust painted on the pack and the shoulder straps. Okay. Looks like this one can stand to get one more layer. Across the front. Once you've got, these are all the solid colors you're going to need. After that we're going to pop open our lead belcher. Now with the lead belcher there's only a couple things that we're going to paint silvery, this silvery metallic color. The first thing is the what I call the silver bits of the rifle right here down the front and the front of the rebreather mask all of you guys should have a little nub at the front and then down and finally if you want you don't have to this is something that they might not see but the ring around the islands. And then what I like to do is after I paint that, usually you could see, oh, my hands got a little shaky. I wasn't able to fill in the islands as, as well as I'd like to. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my Abaddon Black. Abaddon Black. And just paint in the islands as one more time. Now that I've got the lead belcher frames, the metallic lead belcher frames all painted up. I'm just going to go back in. Make sure we can see it. Okay. Right with just. Boop, pop that. Pop a little bit of paint right into the center. Alright, so that is the base coat for all of our all of our guys, all of our infantry guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna finish the rest of my guys up to this point. The sergeant doesn't have a backpack, so that's less to worry about. The Rough Riders, I think, don't have backpacks either. 
Whoa, I'm not sure. Let me take a look. Uh, oh no, they have a modified backpack, so they're Theirs is just looked like that. They don't have the knapsack on top. It's a sleeping bag. And um, and then you've got your heavy weapons. I'm gonna paint them all up to this point and then we'll come back and we'll do highlighting. Okay gang, welcome back. We're gonna get on to highlighting. First thing we're gonna use is Karak Stone. And Karak Stone is gonna highlight the mask. So all you're doing is Painting in, I like to go with horizontal lines on the masks, if you can, and then on this side when you bring it around you're just pulling that down like that. Boom, beautiful. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some rack heart flesh and we're going to lightly highlight the gloves and the equipment pack on the front. So I'm trying to find where the fingers are. I'm going in one solid direction for the pack and the strap back here. Oh, also the utility belt, all the pouches there and underneath, just kind of finding the, the fingers. Now, no one's really going to be looking at these models too much, so this is kind of where you can stop if you want to. Actually, there's one more step. I'd like to take before you completely stop, and that's Death World Forest. This is like one one highlight for the uniform. That's that's fine. You know, you can live with that. I started the helmet. I put a big glob on it, and then I drag it down the sides. Yeah, just like that. You want it nice and smooth, and then what I do is I get on the rim. Because people are going to be looking at this from above rather than straight on unless they actually pick it up and manipulate it. You try to get the rim with a little bit of shading between the rim and the uh, central part, the pot, what I call the pot. It's a little bit of that uh, castell and green color underneath will really keep that uh, nicely shaded. Now I'm just going to take more Death World Forest and very, very lightly, very simply highlight the uniform in uh, strokes, feather light strokes. Instead of just slapping the paint on, you want to kind of get different lines, different lengths of lines in your strokes, and this will totally help to differentiate and to make your eye kind of get drawn to the different kind of surfaces. It kind of looks like uh, I've been reading a lot of graphic novels lately, and it's got that that kind of charcoal brushed on look. So the main areas you're going to be looking at are the bottom of the jacket, the pants, the arms, and the canteen. Okay, so let me just zoom in and show you where we are at this moment. Just like that. I should probably cover up this little mistake I made on the shoulder. Right there. Okay, the final, final highlight for these guys that you're going to do is a highlight of Ogren Camo. And the Ogren Camo is going to be really, really just a, a top highlight color that is going to just really pick out the eye, or have your eye pick out all the detail. Uh, I do like to kind of slather it on the helmet though, because for me, I do, I'm going to be doing like this dark brown mud basing, and because it's so dark, I noticed that if, if my highlights, if I stopped at the second highlight, you can't really pick out their, their heads as much of the models. I don't know, just a personal preference thing. You don't have to do it uh, to their helmets that much. Oh. And the danger with Ogren Camo is that it's one of the paints that has a certain ratio of its of its pigment make it very, I guess, difficult to 
paint on effectively. I don't know why, but there's... I guess when I was washing my brush, I got some water in this jacket there. I'll just take that out. Yeah, so I've been reading a lot of the... I picked up the hardback, the hardcover rule book. Because when you buy the board game, or when you buy the, the core set of the game, you get a, a soft cover. And it's, you know, black and white, and it has just the rules, and a little bit of the fluff, but yeah, the hardback is really great. It's got a, among other things, it's got all the rules, it's got colored illustrations, the fluff section in the beginning is really fun, and uh, in the end, it's got a little bit of a modeling and painting, I don't want to say guide, but uh, tips for people who are going to want to paint their their infantry. And I thought it was really interesting because they they reference using testers as a, testers spray paints as primers. And I know Games Workshop used to have a bolt gun metal primer, spray primer, kind of like they have Chaos Black, Skull White now. Um, I don't remember if when they switched over paint companies, they they didn't have it anymore, but. Yeah, I've been using, there we go, and uh, it's really great on the Martians, these guys, the walkers, so, uh, they, they don't use, they don't use like Games Workshop colors, so if you want to paint yours up like how the rule book has them, uh, you're going to have to make up your own, which is kind of what I did. So, your guy, after highlighting him up with the... Ogren Camo should look like this trooper here on the end. And that is basically it for painting the infantry of these guys. No matter what you paint here, I'm going to show you my completed machine gun guys. I, I use the same color scheme for all of them. To show you same color scheme with just little minor differences for like these guys don't have the, the same kinds of backpacks, but everything else, the highlighting is all of the same and let me show you my completed base here so i'm going to be doing a how to do a muddy base tutorial on these guys so stay tuned for that and uh thanks for watching latest play